welcome to Great Minds Tutorials. This is your favorite tutor, Khodiso. And this is part number seven of Advanced Object Orientated Programming. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing with Advanced Data Structures. And in this episode or part, I'm going to be showing you how to work with a hash map. So you're going to say hash map example. So we're gonna name the for the, the project and it works. Uh let me just quickly open paint and I'll finish up what I wanted to say. Okay. So I just want to quickly demo how does a map work. A map is gonna have a key and then it's gonna map that specific key to a value, another key. It's gonna map it to a value. And then we're gonna have the third key, which is gonna be mapped to the third key value. So in order for us to access this, we're going to be using the keys in order for us to map that. Uh, that's just me <laughs> being uh, creative with my arts. Hello, yes, I've tried at least. Okay, now, so what are we gonna do here is that we're going to from the map so it takes in an integer let's give it an integer that is going to be the student id and then we're going to give it a string second variable and that is going to be the name so the student id is going to be a map a, a, a map key why because that is very unique and then the second one is going to be the actual value. So we're going to say students, uh, and then this new hash map, um, H here, MAP, just like that. And then we're going to import the map from java.util. And then we're also going to import the Java map. So that is how you get to declare a hash map. So now I'm going to show you how you add values into a map. So how you do it is that you're going to say student dot put. So we're going to say students dot put. So we use put, so you put in the key. So the key in this case, let's say is 111. That is the first student. And that student is your favorite tutor, Khadiso. And let's say the second value, let's say students dot not uh, and ETS dot put 222. I want to put in Smith, okay, quotation, and student, let's put in the third one, dot put, so the key, 333, as a unique key, and let's have another Khodiso in the class. So that is the beauty of this, is that you can store the same value, but the key cannot be the same. So now if I wanted to display all of this, what I'll do is that you have a special for loop for this. You'll say map dot entry in capital letters, and you're gonna give this uh, a name. So you're probably going to say uh, data, and then you see colon, and then now you need students dot entry set this should be able to do the trick so now it's going to go through the map using this for loop and then when you say system that out the print line you're going to say the student the students id number is so you need to say data dot get key it's because as part of the key we have stored 
the student ID. And then on the next line, we're going to say the student name is we're going to say data dot get value in this case. So that is how you display in order for you to get this uh, ID. You're going to say get key. Why? Because it's been stored as a key. Yeah? And in order for you to get the value, you're going to say dot get value. But this is how you write the for loop. You're going to say map in capital letters, which is from the class dot entry. And then you give it a name, which in this case I said is data data or data yeah depending on where you you are you are from around the world <laughs> but here yeah, let's let's put it in proper terms data uh so now say data say colon and then you say student student is the name of the map and then you say dot entry set which is the so it's the object and then you say dot the method which is entry set gonna be able to do the trick for you so when you run this i uh, will be able to see that you're able to see that the student id is 333 and the name is Khodiso, and the student uh id is 111 Khodiso, and the student uh id is 222 so here is one thing about a hash map is that whenever it stores it doesn't store this in indexes it doesn't store in, a, in, in an order Whatever value of stored fat doesn't mean that you are going to be accessing it first. Your values are stored in that method where a value is mapped to a specific key. So that is what you should look out for. And what is the other thing that you can do with this? I think you can clear. You can say students that clear. You can clear. And then after clearing, system that out uh the print line let's see if you are unable to view it this way not numbers student and when you run this you will see that it's cleared there's nothing inside of it you can also still view it this way uh let's remove this and there we go. If you were to view it, you will see it will write the specific key and then equate it to specific value, which is mapped to that specific key. And then it will write the second key. And then it will write the value that is mapped to that key. And it will write the third one, which is 2222. And then it's going to map it to the specific value. So that's how you actually uh, do that. Uh, I think the other thing that you can do is that you can check if it's empty. So you can say, just like the other ones, you can say system that are the print line, like the other advanced data structures, you can then say numbers dot, not numbers, why am I saying numbers? It's because I was working with numbers previous. Numbers dot is empty. You can do that. You can check if it's empty and it's gonna tell you whether it's empty or not. It's gonna say false in this case. And there's a couple of other stuff that you can do with this, but I think most of them, they repeat. They are similar, they share most of the... So you can clear, you can get a specific, uh, this is how you get a specific object. You can get a specific object, but in this case, it's going to give you the name. So what you can do here is that you can Come here, you can say uh, up here, you want to declare a string, which is a name. Then that name, you're going to equate it here. So you, I mean, assign it to that. So you're going to say get, but you're going to get where the ID is 111. And in this case, when you say system that are the print line, you say name, it's going to display the name that is, uh, the value that is, is associated with that specific uh, 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 key. So the specific key, which is 111, has been mapped to this value, which is Khodiso. And now you can see that that is the specific value that we are actually getting there. All right, so the other thing that we are getting here is that you can still be able to come here 
and say students dot you can be able okay we've used get uh we've used put you can be able to remove uh using a specific key and you can also be able to remove using a key and a value so if i were to do this and say remove one 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 and this way it's going to be able to remove um and then i say system that out the print line i say student if i were to display this you will see that what you saw the one which is mapped to 111 has been removed why because i've written this which is removed before and you can still also remove with the 1111 and you can also still specify uh what you want to remove, which is for this one. If that's the case, it will still be able to do the very same thing. So those are two ways of removing. And um, students, I almost wrote numbers again, students dot, uh, we have already explained here. I've already explained remove. You can also check the size. So I can say yeah, and I can see size is assigned to that. And then I get down here, I'm just going to see display system that are the print line size. And in this case, it's going to be able to show me the size of this. And the size is going to be a three, which is true. I've stored only three uh, values, which are mapped to a specific key. And uh, what is the other thing that we can do here? Is that uh, students dot um i can remove i can check the size so that's primarily it those are the common stuff that we're going to be using each and every time and yeah i think that is all for me for this episode and uh please remember to do like share subscribe and comment and I'm going to be bringing bigger problems, which are going to be involving data uh, structures. And we are going to involve them in those big codes. And that is it from me for today. Your favorite tutor, Khadiso. Till the next upload, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for everyone who is sharing our videos. Uh, we have just hit uh, our first 1K views on one of our videos. I really appreciate that. And tomorrow, we are up approaching by the time this video is uploaded i think we'll have been around 500 subscribers and that is a good move for us because we started like uh, a month ago uploading videos if i'm not mistaken a month ago or a month and a half but we are having a great progress and please uh remember to like share comment and subscribe and that is it for me cheers